So this trailer full of stuff came in yesterday evening. Pallets of stuff from uh, North Texas, I believe. And then I'm walking the truck. I got to drop stuff off of my truck. And then yesterday, two, it's still early morning, BT dubs. Yesterday, these two skid steers, a track machine and a wheeled machine came in from Ohio. And then my machine, our machine, Grindstone's machine, is up there on the back of my truck. And then Jeremiah brought his machine. It's over there, if you can see that white truck. So we've gone from one skid steer on site to four skid steers on site. And the freaking parking lot just keeps filling up. Like, there's just trucks and equipment just everywhere over here. I don't know about y'all. I don't know if it makes y'all excited, warm and fuzzy like it does me, but I think it's cool to see people showing up to help. And it is, it, not that it bothers me, but it's mere days from uh, Christmas. And the fact that people are still showing up to help is a real blessing. Starting to convoy up so we can go to another firehouse. And are you headed out? All right. Um, so we can go to another firehouse and pull it out of a lake, apparently. Dave! Yo! Pull forward. Pull forward so he can get out. Get tight to my bumper. Yeah, I gotta go. This used to be a firehouse. Shoot a little footage for the YouTubes. We're all volunteer, man, and all of our all of our people support us. Uh, yeah, this is all volunteer, all private donations. Roof looks fine. You guys are going to be fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no biggie. Skylight. Skylight, yeah, exactly. Door's fine. Was, yeah. Broom and a mop. I'll have you back in business in no time. <laughs> the trailer looks okay. Almost looks like an American flag up there in the tree, doesn't it? The red and the white. Got a couple of battle scars. I mean, the, the sheet metal, you know? push the roll off into the building to make accessibility a little bit better. Whole new definition for room clearing. Going room by room, each one of these rooms, picking the usable stuff out and getting the debris out into the 10,000 pound shovel.
Sawzall's coming. They're in route right now. There's a dent in the top of that water tower. Something hit it, and they don't know what, but they think it was a car. Okay, we are, according to the head fire marshal dude, we are done at the East Marshall Fire District building. Got the debris out from the inside, pulled as much metal out of the trees as they want us to, and they are waiting on a quote to come from, um, oh, somebody, somebody's got the skid stick. They're waiting for a quote to come from uh, company to demo this thing and build another one back in its place so we've done what they want us to do here and we're on to the next one all right now that uh, Jeremiah and the other skid steer back there Mr. Grapple got most of the metal and this stuff behind me that was the roof of the fire department. He got most of that picked out of the timber. They've, uh, fire department's given us permission to get our tree force in here and start taking down all these trees that have been snapped in half and that are just completely jacked. They're leaving a crew here to do that. And they've got another guy, Wendell, up the road, scouting the site for his skid steer and laborers. Got another skid steer back of the fob with a set of forks working as a forklift. And we're about to take mine up the road to the cemetery, move some brush to the cemetery. And then one of the firefighters has a tree uh, right next to his house that he's worried about coming down. So we're gonna go put that on the ground. And then we'll see what else happens today. At the cemetery, pushing debris at the cemetery. Go take a big tree down. Because I guess that's what we do now. Like that one group, God's Pit Crew. We're Yaw's Tree Crew. One of the uh, guys from the volunteer fire department said we were an eight man volunteer department before the storm. And now with Grindstone. We're a 38 man volunteer department. I thought that was really cool. We have really messed well with all the uh, first responders out here, specifically the fire departments. Um, great guys, absolutely great guys. Like, it's actually kind of touching, you know, because I mean, we're living, <laughs> we're living in their firehouse, but we're also doing a lot of work for them and their people and their community, and uh, I just thought it was cool. I don't know if I said it earlier, but the op tempo is sig significantly down today, um, probably because of the proximity to the holidays. There's no one out here, no one. Um, it's like a ghost town now. All the NGOs, all the volunteers, um, all, all the contractors, 
All packed up. All packed up. There's nobody here, man. Like, it's like a ghost town. It's sad. Yesterday, so congested you could barely move around. Today, nothing. Back over here at the East Marshall Fire Department, cleaning up trees. It's like four or five, maybe six chainsaws running. Kids through with a grapple. I'm running the uh, 362 with a 20 inch bar. And Josh had to run to the truck to get me a couple of wedges because this bar just doesn't want to go over. Doesn't want to go over. We are back to base. Sun's getting low in the sky. I have no idea what's going on here, but I imagine somebody's gonna tell me real quick. Hopefully it doesn't involve taking the machine off the trailer again. He wants to take a picture. So we're in the process of being blessed. You guys are awesome all the way from Ohio. We have a need for saws because all the trees around here are big. Apparently Kentucky's known for big trees. So, you guys are aw thank you. Happy yes, to be here. Thank you. Awesome. Clean gumbo for dinner. Courtesy of Jesse, who oh, ran off somewhere. Well, more deliveries come in, and uh, more work plans, battle plans for tomorrow. We'll go ahead and call it a video. Bless y'all. Thank you. Thank you for supporting what we do. We literally could not do it without you. And we are blessed to have met so many good people on this deployment. Thank y'all. Shalom.